Hey everyone and welcome back and today we are doing a video that I have been dreading but uh has been requested quite a few times. This is an adult channel for adult collectors by the way and that's to compare all of the generation 3 characters with their generation 1 counterparts now that we have more characters like Caddy and Spectra and the twins and Heath and stuff like that and I think the last time we did this was when Venus came out and I know that wasn't that long ago, but it just looks really cool and full. But I'm about to take everybody off. This is just for the beginning of the video. And we will go one by one, my, my character, and talk about like the differences, what we like, what we dislike, uh, what we think they improved. And yeah, so let me get started with Draculara. Okay, so starting out with Draculara, obviously the biggest difference is the body. Uh, we are shorter and curvier here in Generation 3, and we have the original silhouette here for Draculara. Uh, this is one of the re-releases, so this isn't like the original, original Draculara with like the super pretty face. This is one of like the earlier 20, I don't know, 12 or 2013 uh, re-releases that they did. So Draculara came with a diary, a brush, and a stand, and Count Fabulous, and... An umbrella instead of a purse, which, okay, that's fine. She came in her long pink boots. She has tights, a mini, mini skirt, a vest, a ruffled collar, a necklace. She has her pierced ears with safety pins and pigtails and bangs. And her signature heart right there. And G3 came with Count Fabulous, a cell phone, a ring, a drink, I think a snack, a bag, a book bag. That's like the main difference. A lot of the ghouls come with purses and now they come with backpacks. So that's, they, they're kind of bulky. I would prefer if we went back to getting purses instead of bags, but I get it. They're going to school. They need to put their, their stuff in there. And instead of like mid thigh tight she comes with long sheer socks and uh little mary jane pumps her she's come she comes with like a two-piece top this ruffles bottom layer and this corseted top well corset like top with a bow she also comes with a pendant pierced ears with winged heart earrings uh a split eye which i think I really enjoy in the new Draculara and a headband. I like that everyone comes with a cell phone and that their cell phone is different. That's one of like the main things that I like. I like the darker makeup on Draculara for sure. So the Draculara is kind of perfect in both iterations to me. I really love the new body, but I really love her style better. Uh, so it's kind of like a 50-50 with me for her. A lot of the ghouls are like, obviously I like this version better or that version better. But Dracula is kind of hard with me, for me sometimes. I think the G3 pets are superior. We have the, that debate a lot in the comments. Uh, a lot of you guys like the G1 pets, which is fine. That's totally your prerogative. But I really prefer the much chibier, cuter, more animated looking pets. I don't know. The bigger eyes, they just look more kawaii to me. And they come with a lot more accessories, but no stand. I would honestly sacrifice all the accessories, like the drinks and the snacks and stuff, for a stand. But again, children probably prefer having things to play with their dolls with. But I feel like if I was a kid, I'd want my doll to be able to stand up. And that was what was popular with them originally. So I'm not going to harp on the stand thing every single time. Uh, so that's them up to like close together. Face-wise, I really can't pick, but I do prefer, like, head-wise, G3 Drag with the bigger ears and, like, the softer up to her nose. I just really, really like it, and her body type is just amazing. For the most part, I do like the body type differences now better in Generation 3. Well, not for the most part. Like, actually, I enjoy the body diversity a lot better. And then let's get into... The main ghoul of this generation, Claudine. So Claudine has one of like the biggest uh, differences. Like that's kind of shocking. First, her hair is this like sherberty pinky color with purple. 
very little brown in it and it's polypropylene and horrible so there is that they gave her glasses which i don't know if it's a myth if dogs have like bad eyesight or something and if it's like a play on that but they both come with a, like a choker and a pendant she has obviously the worst outfit it's uh short overall like shorter alls which i just don't see on Claudine you know like we went from hyper fashionista to like sporty ghoul when we already have sporty ghoul with uh Gulia and I want my fashionista back and I think that's funny because she did get the deluxe studio to be like her playset and it came with a bunch of different outfits but they were all very not this the color she again she came with a purse oh she came with a purse too but it's like a like a big like shabby chic purse where you can fit like your bags in like your books in and stuff and she comes with a much like high fashionable purse it's very like juicy couture uh she comes with actual socks that go all like more well, tights maybe tight socks and really long boots the biggest downgrade in generation three is the shoes and where is a oh, crescent Again, the stand and the diary. I wish we had got all that stuff back. And these shoes are truly atrocious. They're sneakers and these aren't real socks. They are like that, which is like demonic, honestly. And then Crescent is now a wolf cub instead of a cat, which I always thought was weird that Crescent was a cat. And yeah, super cute. Uh, there's not much to say about Claudine because she, unlike Dracula, who I think, like, upgraded or, like, went, like, the same, she kind of downgraded for me. I want more brown hair on Claudine. She, we've gotten it a couple times and it just suits her a lot better. I'm not a fan of this. I do enjoy that we got baby hair and edges on Claudine now because it's super cute. But I want my fashionista girl back. I want it. And we did get, like, similar, like, tufted fur elements. There are things that are callbacks. This, like, tiger print on here, on here. It's not the same exact thing, but it's also an animal print, which they didn't abandon for Claudine. We got bigger ears over here, so I do like that. The softer expression is, it's adorable, and it's, again, Claudine's a very beautiful doll, but we need a fiercer face. Okay, sorry about the cut. Uh, my stupid fan went off. So let's keep going. Here is Frankie. Frankie, uh, right off the bat, different skin color from this minty green to this like bluey color. Not sure why they did that. I'm not offended by it. I think it's cute, but I do like the mint green on Frankie. It's like they switched Gulia and her a little bit. Frankie kind of retained the preppiness of their look uh now frankie goes by they them non-binary uh pronouns which is kind of cool because a lot of people already had that kind of headcanon for a while in like the community they have more colored streaks in their hair like the trans colors are in their hair which is really cute uh frankie came with a polaroid camera the phone all basic dolls basically it came with an accessory a phone and a book bag and Frankie's bag is just it's just like a lightning bolt I don't really like it this bag has always puzzled me uh I don't know what the reference is if you do it's probably something like a high fashion reference but I've never understood it <laughs> it just looks like if you've ever seen my hero academia it looks like that bubblehead kid's hair to me uh Frankie got to keep their belt but you know it's a little bit different. Frankie's kind of obsessed with being themselves now in G3, which I love, like, the the confidence that they have, because in G1, Frankie's kind of, like, a klutz and always getting into, like, their hijinks. And then here is Watsit, and now goes by Watsi. I prefer Watsi by a landslide. Their colors are cuter to me. Uh, I do wish that we got more, like, I mean, I guess they are kind of more chimera-like, but I don't know. You know. Frankie's shoes, I don't mind the difference because I do have this pair of shoes that Frankie has over here, and I do like Frankie's big, like, clunky Frankenstein shoes. 
I love these shoes though. Oh, and Frankie has a prosthetic limb now. Frankie's taller, which I think is amazing. Um, since Frankenstein is like this big hulking beast of a monster, it makes sense that Frankie would be like super tall. And I love that addition. They have the pierced ears. Frankie has the dangly skelet that they allegedly made, but I don't know if anyone actually ever got them. And then this Frankie has yellow lightning bolts. This Frankie has a lot more color and this Frankie is a lot more muted in generation one. And for preferences, Frankie's kind of like a Dracula with me. I, I like them pretty much equally, but some of the G3 Frank, Frankie faces have been so, 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 so hit. And you can't deny that. Now let's get with Frankie's ghoul friend, Cleo. Cleo, the queen of Wonk in generation one. We can not deny that. My ghoul, they did her dirty a lot of the time. It's just, I don't know, there's something about her face sculpt that it was hard finding a good Cleo. This is a re-release Cleo that came in like uh, those budget packs, but this is a generation one first release Cleo outfit that I put her in. So it's basically the same, same makeup and everything, just a better eye placement. Like Cleo's eye placement got better as they went along because some of those early Cleos that I have in my collection, I'm like, oof. Uh, so Cleo's face, it got sweeter. Again, we got sweeter expressions now in Generation 3, but it's not a bad thing. She has way better makeup in Generation 3, I think. So cute. I love the addition of the, um, if anyone knows what that's called, let me know. These earrings are horrible. I hate them. I much prefer, like, the gaudier, like, chain thingies that, uh, she would wear. She has this horrible bag that is enormous and very, very clunky. Their outfit uh, from one of the designers, they leaked that it's kind of supposed to be like a blazer dress, which I wish that it was more obvious because that's an amazing idea. These shoes are atrocious. They are so big. I hope that they don't ever reuse this mold because we've gotten like reused molds already in generation three. It's common in the doll world, but please don't ever do that. And these shoes are iconic. So good. This Cleo didn't come with a purse. Oh, she did. I just don't know where it is. She did come with a purse, but and she also came with uh, her cell phone here on this uh, hip uh, thigh attachment, which is super cute. She also came in a two pack with Deuce, which... I guess makes a bigger difference in the amount of stuff she got. I don't know. And in Generation 1, we have Hasset, who looks very, very mean, but very, very C-U-N-T-Y. Uh, she's got her sculpted-on necklace, which I like. And originally, we got Tut. I keep calling them Anubis, who is super cute, but we were all, as a community, like, what? Where is his set? And we finally got his set back with the Core Refresh doll. So cute. I love her, love her, love her so much. I can't wait to get more and turn her into a pair of earrings because she is so adorable. Cleo, I will say, has become one of my more favorite characters in Generation 3. Um, Generation 1, I loved her because she was, I don't think intentionally written to be super funny, but she was super funny uh in generation one in the movies and stuff just because like of her attitude and stuff and the heart of gold like mean girl here she's just kind of like nice and i love that she's like human obsessed it's hilarious to me uh but i think i prefer generation three cleo for uh for the most part uh let's do laguna laguna obviously huge change with the skin tone again. Pink Laguna changed my life when we saw these leaks. It was like, yes, yes, what do you mean, yes? But also, obviously, Blue Laguna is iconic, and we can't take that away from her. I do like the webbed fingers better. I wish that they had kept that. I don't know why they didn't. We have a fade in, like, the body, which is very hit or miss for Laguna because the painting can be very scratchy. Uh, I'm neither here nor there on Laguna's original shoe wear. They're just sandals. 
Um, and these are just, just sandals again. Though they did make Laguna's shoes, I think, both times, and, like, why are you did? This outfit's better to me, in my opinion. It's still sporty, but it's super cute. I love uh, this detail right here. There's just a lot of mm, things that I don't like about this. I love this, like the pants and the watercolor uh, pattern and the ruffle fin on the side. I love the fanny pack. I hate the black. I, it doesn't vibe with me. I... It looks very out of place for Laguna. Oh, and Laguna came with sunglasses. Oh, a lot of the main characters came with sunglasses. I just don't really display them with them. Uh, she also came with a hood, which is, you know, a nice callback. And she's got this fishnet material. And instead of having Neptuna in a, like, her bag, she just has this shell drippy bag in her cell phone. Neptuna is stuck in there because I'm not going to bother taking her out. But there she is. And Neptuna is so cute in Generation 3. Fight me. I love her. I wish she'd been an axolotl. But look at her. She's so, so damn cute. And for the most part, yes, I prefer Generation 3 Laguna. And probably because she's pink and I'm biased. So let's get into Agulia, who by far and away got done the dirtiest amongst all the ghouls. Uh, she lost her retro -y style and is now a gamer, which, fine, Gulia gamed in Generation 1, but, like, they made it more of her personality trait and gave all the the brainy, smart stuff to Frankie. Which, like, we can have, we can have two smart ghouls, you know? Um, the skin tone just kind of makes her look sick to me. I want... I want this back. I want red, and I want this shade of blue. This shade of blue is just so garish to me. And at least in Sorian, though. This is Kanekalon. She has more, like, grave elements and brain elements, which Gulia really doesn't have on her original doll. The more that you look at her, it's, like, cherries and music and stuff that I guess doesn't really make sense with, with Gulia since she is, like, the brainy ghoul. She has these amazing shoes, which... I'm glad that they've reused before. Her bag is a mystery to me. It's just a big cassette. And she came with, like, a skateboard, which was the thing that they introduced for Claudine, but Claudine never came with a skateboard. This addition of pink to Gulia, not a fan of it at all. As a pink person, I don't think every doll needs pink. And Gulia is that doll that does not need pink. So Who's a Lot is super cute in both generations, but the bigger eyes are uh, cuter over there because uh, Sir Hootsalot is just kind of derpy, like wonk-eyed looking over there and looking over there. What is that? Wall-eyed? And the glasses to match Gulia is super cute. I just want the retro back. So obviously Generation 1 Gulia is the winner by a landslide. And I don't know, just... Well, you got her second doll, and it just, they're just not hitting. And I hope that they kind of course correct for Gulia, because I don't want to see her go away. She's an original ghoul. Let's do Twyla next, who is just perfect in Generation 3. Just simply perfect. She's amazing. She was already one of my favorite ghouls in Generation 1 because of her, like, petite body and the boogeyman element and the, the spooky smoky purple and the teal but look how beautiful she is i wish that they'd kept um her profile a little bit more similar it's not that dissimilar but mm, you know what i mean she's just so so pretty in both this is like equal to me uh she's got more cuddly aesthetic here because you know she lives under beds she's less moody she's got uh, autism and Generation 3, and it's talked about, which I think is really cool, and she has, like, auditory things where if she doesn't like loud noises, they stress her out, and we've got better characterization, I think. Not better, but just new characterization for her, because she was just kind of, like, the cool girl that's in the corner, just, like, creeping on everyone. Like, probably smoking cigarettes underneath the bleachers instead of watching the game. Uh, 
she's just amazing. I like both of the purses because this is just really cute in my aesthetic, but also this is the dream catcher elements. I don't know. A lot of people say that it's uh, kind of problematic because of like Native American uh, culture. So I don't want to be the one to speak on that, but let me know how you felt about, felt about the incorporation of the dream catcher on Twyla's, you know, Oh, where are her pets? Under Twilight's character is what I meant. And I do like that they kept like that little preppy look for her too. Dustin rocks in both because they didn't give Dustin eyes. They gave Dustin buttons and just so cute. I love them both equally. This is one of the very few Generation 1, Generation uh, 3 pets where I'm just like, nope, equal. You can't, you can't pick. They're, they're both super cute. We're going to do my girl, Abby, who had the doll world shook when her Generation 3 look leaked. She's exquisite. She's tall. She's curvy. Oh, one of the big things that I uh, didn't mention is all the core characters have rib articulation, which I hate and love at the same time because sometimes it's hard to pose them, but then you get a, a cool pose. But if you bump them, you lose it. And it depends on like the looseness of that rib joint. It's very infuriating. Uh, base doll, one. Beautiful, amazing, gorgeous. Clothes, so Lizzie McGuire. Like this is something Hilary Duff wore while playing Lizzie McGuire in the early 2000s. This is amazing. The ama I, I hate these like sandal, like eye shoes. No, please. Awful. But these boots and the fur it's so good they gave her like this like fluff element but i'm just like nee. give her give her give her more fluff more white there's like no white on her besides like here i want the snowy and i want the cold so abby's 50 50 uh prefer the clothes and like the stylization here but the body type the face everything bigger ears the horns like ooh. i hate that yeah, they gave Abby horns. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but so cute. Just her being so tall is amazing. And then Tundra and Shiver. I don't know why they changed her name, but uh, Shiver is so adorable. But I think I prefer Tundra by a lot. Look at her. Mm, I don't know. I just love the pets. The pets just look more like Digimon to me. And... I think that's kind of why where like my bias is coming through. Let's look at Torlai. Torlai joins um, Gulia in the downgrade club with Claudine because I get like the smirk, but we need. We need a doll in Generation 3 with a mean girl face. Like, we do. We just we just really do. Like, they de-mean a girl-fied Torlai currently. She's kind of, like, on their side now. And, no, we want a mean girl. We, every franchise needs its mean girl that's just mean just to be mean. Uh, yeah, there's up against each other. There's really nothing that I prefer on the Generation 3 doll. Uh, even in the show, she's gonna bob. I understand children probably want dolls with longer hair to play with but i'm like looking at all the ghouls and i'm like no short hair in sight and some this is coming from me who always says that they hate short hair on dolls but we need variety you know and torlai needs her bob just the outfit so much better the jacket's better the top's better uh, i love that she's got pants the skirt is kind of a mess it's giving vaporwave and i don't really like it and these are some of the worst shoes. I hate sculpted socks. The yarn ball edition is cute, but no thanks because these shoes are so good and very versatile. Like, I think you could use these shoes on multiple characters and not be like, oh, those are Torlai shoes, you know? And she has this horrible backpack that's just so heavy. I hate one strapped backpacks. She came with a microphone and a microphone stand. Torlai's bag is super cute. I don't know. I'm just. I guess I'm just glad that they didn't like throw pink on uh, Torlai like they did uh, Gulia. I mean, there's pink in her hair, but 
as hardcore as they did to my girl. And her pet, whose name is escaping me right now. Uh, this one, for some reason, is in very much in the same style as everyone else, but they remind me of those Cave Club dolls. Like, maybe because it's like a saber-toothed tiger. But I actually prefer this one. Hmm. I kind of shock myself right now. But I'm not like that big of a Torlai person, so I'm not really thinking about her. Uh, let's do Venus. This video was super fun to film. When we first did it, me and Tony were hysterically laughing because of the stark difference between them. She's got this really lovely shade of green here. She has been uh, black coated like heavily, like you can't deny it. She's a black girl. Um, I know a lot of people uh, also had canned in that for her and I never really thought about it because I don't know. It just wasn't something that I, also she's a plant monster. Uh, but that's something that I've been learning as I've gotten older and more into the space is seeing yourself more represented in media and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of equal elements here, like some of the same colors, but this is a better outfit by a lot. Like the nature shirt, don't like it. This bag is, someone explained to me what it was. It's like a gardening bag or something. It fits all her stuff, which is cool. Um, but these, this short material, hate it. Like, this is one of the most perfect dolls of 2023. Three? Did she come out this year? Yeah. Two, um, it's 2024, girl. Get it together. Uh, she did lose some points because these aren't real socks. They are like leg warmers. Her shoes are awesome and a really good uh, like throwback to her original ones. Like they're thicker, they're chunkier. They both have the teeth. I love it. The, the locks here are amazing. Like please we need more venuses with like variety of hair hair texture i would love to see them uh do micro braids on my monster high i don't think they've ever done that they've done it for barbie and the heads are smaller so i feel like it would be easier to do it on a bigger head no uh just they changed her eyes to brown she's got one of the biggest changes besides like laguna who kind of just keeps the same energy i mean she's like honduran now instead of australian which is also a huge like cultural shift but just look at her her lettuce ears they're just so amazing this doll is incredible i could talk about her all day and chulian y'all got so mad at me but this chulian is so ugly they look like a shark to me and this one's like a cute cat like plant monster and there's like a little a little fly trap like tail and they come out of here and their body's like all vines and cute and they're in a planter box i don't know i just I love you so much. How cute. And they've got like those dot eyebrows. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, plus up for the body. She's taller than Abby, I think, maybe by a little bit. Or it might just be like the platform of her shoe. But she's she and Abby are probably the same height. But she's on a slimmer body here. But her thighs are nice and full. And she's got the sculpted on vines. She's amazing. G3 Venus wins. Even if the fashion was better here, uh, she still wins. But her Sculptor Secrets 5 doll looks so amazing. I wish that they hadn't given her the straight hair because we, I feel like we all wanted to see more textured hair on her. But it's fine. Like, black girls can do whatever they want with their hair. Uh, but her outfits are so good. Mm, who's next i'm losing track of everybody i want to get all the girls out of the way before we end with the boys let's do spectra who is our most recent addition and i think left everyone gagged and so so happy because they kept her like uh, we got like mean girl face now her like super sallow cheeks and uh, she's more bluey here like her purple is not as purple as it is here. But look at that face. Look at that face. Her and Venus, Abby, just like they killed it with like that sequence of release of like dolls. 
She's got, I think, a body type closer to Cleo, who has like a narrower waist with wider hips and thicker thighs and uh, just, just, just thicker legs. She's just so gorgeous. Look at her. Um, the fashion's pretty much the same. She's just a little bit more like gothy, I would say, because she's got more black, but she still has the chains, the flowiness, the layer. She's wearing a romper, which I think is interesting. Uh, sleeves. I mean, she didn't have sleeves, but like this still willowy, ghostly, like, uh, theme is still very present here. So we didn't really lose much. Uh, I wasn't one, one to care too much for this bag, so I didn't really care losing it. And I think this one's really cute because it's in the shape of a ghost and it says boo. And, oh, okay. She does not want to hold that. And now let's look at Rune. I don't ever really know how to say Rune's name. R-H-E-U-E-N, I think. Rune. Obviously, I think G3 is better. Like, <laughs> that... <laughs> They look less like a fairy, more like an otter here. And just the tail's a lot prettier and more ghostly. The color's better on this one, I think. Which I think that the color scheme matches better the other way around. Which is kind of funny. But Spectra is a... It's a 50-50. Like, because Spectra was already a really, really amazing character for me in Generation 1. Like, we still have, like... The throwbacks on the shoes, the ball and chain heels. I do like the Generation 1 shoes better, though. But that's always going to be a thing. Catty Noir. So, uh, I was going to grab her uh, new Scaremaster doll, but this is, like, the look that they based her on. Here she is. Uh, I think we all died and went to heaven when we saw G3 Catty. Look at her. Just look at her. Look at her. They gave her this really full, beautiful figure. Um, just like with really, oh my God, look at her. She's like quite weighty too. She feels like so substantial as a doll when you like hold her up against other ones. And her big tail, I love it. She's more like a, like a fluffy cat, you know, instead of like a sleek cat. They gave her like this really rich Persian fluffy cat vibe her ears are bigger as well all the the anthropomorphic ones have bigger ears they added the splash of blue which i would have preferred if they just added the, the metallic pink back in she's got her baby hair she's micro braids in the front i would have wanted the whole head to be micro braided which fine but it is quite weighty she's got a lot of hair kind of like original caddy the outfit is a nice interpretation of this one but obviously this one devours this one it's just give the curvier girls cuter clothes please it can be done and give them better shoes i think a lot of people hate these shoes and these shoes are just amazing those gaga like hueless shoes are amazing i just want this to return like this pink metallic element she didn't come with a pet in generation one but oops but in Generation 3, she has her cat here. She's super cute. I think it's a hairless cat, which is hilarious. Like, you can see, like, like the the skin rolls. <laughs> uh, Catty is 100% a glow up. Just give, give, give her better clothes. And put her in a new line already. I know that she just came out, but put her in a new line already. Let's do Meality. I think we're almost done besides the boys uh so like we have like the red skirt with like the they have the similar elements but then they did like the thing that they have been doing and added pink <sighs> leave the red girlies red they are red for a reason like look how good that lip color is it would have popped so much better if she just had red these bangs are from the devil uh I like that she has pigtails because I love pigtails. She's got tights. Neither of them came with pets or anything like that. She came with a yarn ball bag. She came with a guitar, but it's over there on display. Uh, their faces are beautiful. I prefer this face though. Just give me like the makeup. I love that they gave her the heterochromia. And I think 
Persephone has like the opposite, obviously because they're twins, but the shoes are not that bad. These are better because they have bows on them, but these shoes are not that bad. And I love the little cat detailing right there. So cute. And the heel, like the, the tie having puff balls. Super cute. I love the, the collar necklace. Again, the, you can see like the similarities, the stripe, the stripe, this and this, the red skirts, just the purple coming out of nowhere here. They tied it in with Persephone. Uh, I'm going to say like 70, 30 with them. 70% love new Persephone, new, new Melody for her body sculpt and her new face sculpt and everything, but I want the old look back. And I could say the exact same thing for her. I mean, she got to keep her red lips, but she's way less like her counterpart. Uh, Meality had almost the same elements in their outfits, but her not so much. Uh, again, uh, the Devil's Bangs. This is not what we were promised in the promo pictures, but look at that face. Like, the way it's painted... Oh, I think it might even be a different sculpt from Meality, which I think is amazing because they're twins, but, you know, they don't have to look the same. She looks a little stoned, uh, which I think is hilarious. This outfit is simpler, but better. This, this, this shirt drives me crazy because it's longer in the back and cropped in the front, and I just don't get it. And I'm not much of a graphic tee person when it's on a doll. It's just kind of like, eh. Uh, I want a skirt. I don't want this. Also, everyone hates this material. She did get socks, though. And they... Are they socks? No. She did get fake socks, which I guess is nice. But also, these boots are amazing. These are not. She got the low... <laughs> her sister devoured her, but she devours her, like, as a base doll. So again, 70-30 for them as well keep dropping things and I don't know what I'm dropping. Oop. Uh, I think that is all of the ghouls out of the way. Now let's go with our monsters. Here is Deuce. Deuce glow up immediately. They got, they gave him that, that green skin. His face is just so, so handsome. Like what a beautiful doll. And Deuce just kind of has like boy doll face where it's just not very interesting to look at uh his sense of style i'm not rocking with either i take it or leave it i take this doll i take this base doll he's got i like the shades of green that they have on him better this like lime slime green not really for me don't like i don't know <laughs> the curse of flat shoes on boys like those vans oh horrible but I do prefer G3 Deuce. Rapid fire, guys. Uh, here is his pet. Perseus, I think. Uh, cuter to me. I think this is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. I hate him. But he's cute and I love him. And let's do Claude. Tony's going to disagree with me if he watches this video. But I love G3 Claude. So much. also the G1 boys are taller. Um, which I think is weird. I wish the G3 boys were more substantial. He's got a, a thicker, more like substantial body. And he's like the slimmer body. But he's taller. So, But the boy dolls also don't have rib articulation. But look at his face. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful face. Like... They just really accentuated, like, his his features. He's gorgeous. This is a better outfit to me. And, like, in my opinion, this is just standard boy. Give him a letterman's jacket. Go. But better doll, better clothes. So maybe a 50-50 with them. And finally, with my boy Heath. Ooh. I really, really love... Heath as a doll and I love that they changed his personality in generation three he's more like environmentally conscious he has like songs like about climate change like how they have the, that music video I was peeved that he got released in a swim line because 
This is the outfit he wears in the show, but they gave him flip-flops. But my husband painted this pair of BTS shoes and just customized them for me because this is, like, what they look like in the show. Uh, he didn't come with... He came with a diary that he shared with Abby, uh, his stand. But just this, I think an apron and an oven mitt. And he came with this bag. I wish it was a backpack. Like, we were getting backpacks. But because he's going to the beach, he's got to take a beach bag, I guess. Um... I'm going to be controversial and say I really like this color scheme on him, but I don't think I would like it on him because of just the intensity. He's a more orangey yellow, and he's like this pastel yellow. I really love this vibe, but this jacket's amazing. I do wish that all... I just said... Like, I just read them for doing like the boy doll thing and giving them Letterman jackets, but I do think boy dolls need Letterman jackets, all of them. And I really hope we get Manny, please. <laughs> please give me Manny. The shoes... Again, the curse. The curse. Horrible. So that was that for this video. Let me know what you guys thought. What do you prefer? G1, G3, G2. Um, I was thinking about grabbing some of the G2 dolls, but I'd be here forever just like clowning on them. But I was going through, I just finished counting every single Monster High doll in my room. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want to do something with that later. Um, but... There are some really beautiful G2 dolls, and I think we need to realize that. Maybe I'll do really good G2 doll video. Yeah. But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Do you agree? Do you, do you disagree? Uh, do you want to be crazy like me and talk about all of them in the comments? I love to read the comments, so let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions, and I will see you in the next one.